December is an exciting month. Because you know, one day you'll wake up and it'll be Christmas morning. George didn't want the man with the yellow hat to miss even one second of Christmas. <laughs> George, my spleen. Oh, thank you. And I am afraid it's still not Christmas yet, buddy. Remember we talked about this yesterday? <laughs> and the day before? <laughs> and every morning at 5 a.m. since Thanksgiving. <laughs> See, today is the 14th. So how many days are there until the 25th? <laughs> no, it's more than one. There. That's Christmas. <laughs> this is today. Oh. All these other days come before Christmas. <laughs> I know. For an impatient monkey, anything more than one day seemed like a million. Oh, those days will go by fast. Yeah, you'll see. Every day will be fun. Before the big day gets here, there's so much to get done. I think you're gonna find out getting there is half the fun. Christmas preparations, you can see them all around. People getting ready almost everywhere in town. Are you ready for Christmas Day to come? Sing it with me, or if you're a monkey, hum. Christmas in the lobby, always organized and neat. One and all are welcome, don't forget to watch your feet. Christmas time means winter winds, snow clouds fill the sky. And if I had a chance, I think I'd spend it in Hawaii. Are you ready <laughs> for Christmas Day to come? Yeah! See Seven fishes. Stop it! First make five and then add two. No kid, no! It's a Christmas Eve tradition. Hey! Get off that, you! <laughs> Chasing after Charky every day all through the year. But when it's close to Christmas, we always end up here. Betsy? Hey, Steve. Are you looking for Christmas gift ideas? Well, we were chasing Charky and sort of got distracted. Hey. <laughs> oh, oh. <Ooh. laughs> 
<laughs> I'm going to add that big xylophone to my Christmas list. Betsy, you shouldn't put anything on that list you don't really want. But I do really want it. I'm writing a song on my xylophone, but it only has 15 keys. More keys means more notes to choose, right? Hmm. <laughs> Betsy's list is long. Mine is gonna break the record for shortest Christmas list ever. My whole list is just four letters. B-I-K-E. Bike. <laughs> Sharky, stay! <laughs> we gotta go. Bye. Sharky! Oh, speaking of Christmas lists, don't you need me to write yours for you? <laughs> Have you even decided what you want? <laughs> you see how much preparing we still have to do? George spent the rest of the day working hard on his Christmas list. Everybody knows a rhinoceros is the perfect Christmas present. But walking one would be a lot of work. <laughs> then, all at once, George knew exactly what to put on his list. That's a good one. Uh, George, you ready to make your Christmas list? Ah! <laughs> well, show me what you want in the catalog and I'll write your list for you. Uh -uh. No, but if you don't, how will I know what to put on your list? <laughs> Is that it? Uh -huh. You did it all by yourself? Uh -huh. Wow, I'm... Impressed you did it alone. <laughs> and this is something I know you would like? <laughs> Have I seen it? <laughs> of course the man with the yellow hat had seen it. Hmm. <laughs> huh? Oh, you want me to write my list? <laughs> you want to give me a present? <laughs> Um, why don't you make me something? Surprise me! <laughs> this is what you really want? I mean, besides what Santa brings. Was there something wrong with the list? Oh, don't worry. Now that I have your list, I'll, I'll make sure you get what you want. <laughs> Making a present was going to be fun. Huh. But how would George figure out how to make it? <laughs> First, he could draw it. <laughs> but what was it? <laughs> this was going to take a lot of thought. George woke up the same way he did every day since Thanksgiving. <laughs> Except now he had a chart to let him know it wasn't Christmas yet. <laughs> Christmas was still far away. But George could use that time to think of a perfect present for the man with the yellow hat. George! Ready for today's preparations? We are going to get a Christmas tree. <laughs> There'd be plenty of time to think of a present later. Decorating the tree neatly was Hundley's favorite Christmas preparation. 
<laughs> and here came the absolute opposite of an organized tree. George. Good morning. Tree's looking good. A man can accomplish anything when he's got a plan and a dachshund. Wow. Boop. Come on, George. The early monkey catches the tree. <laughs> ah! Boop. All right, George, pick any tree you like. Welcome to Mrs. Rankin's prize-winning Christmas tree farm. <laughs> you know there's a proper way to pick out a Christmas tree? I laid it out in charts and graphs. I insist customers read every page, or I won't sell them a tree. <laughs> Uh, you're a kid who knows a lot. What does this look like to you? Oh, I'm good at puzzles. It's not a puzzle. It's what George wants for Christmas, and I have to figure it out. Hmm. I guess it is kind of a puzzle. <laughs> George figured he could see more trees if he was up high. Well, I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a city kid thing. Oh, boy. <sighs> George spotted the perfect tree. <laughs> George! You don't climb Christmas trees. Proper climbing trees are your oak, your maple, your spruce. Climb down very carefully. <laughs> wow. Oh, no. Sorry, Bill. I, I, I... I'm going to have to research the proper way to display trees. I don't think that's supposed to happen. <laughs> that one? <laughs> sure. Here you go. My chair off there. Yeah. It, there you go. It's stuck. Yeah. Should we pick another tree? <laughs> this was the one. No other tree would do. 